So Microsoft's stock price peaked at 6,118% of its IPO, which was its original uh, value in the market. Price more than 13 years after the IPO. Suppose that the Suppose that $10,000 invested in Microsoft at its IPO price had been worth $600,000 after exactly 13 years. What interest rate compounded annually does this represent? So this one is particularly wordy, everyone. Don't get alarmed. Just go to CERM 10 and put in what you know. So we know that the price was worth $600,000, so this is the future value. Uh, we know that it started at 10,000. We don't know the rate. That's what we're asked to find. M is the number of compounding periods in a year. This was compounded annually, so one. T is 13 years. I is R divided by M. N is MT. So you can see there's quite a lot of information in that problem we didn't even need, like the 6,118%. So anyway, I is R over M. We don't have an R, so that stays there. M is 1. Uh, MT is going to be 1 times 13, which is 13. And one thing I do want to draw attention to is that this right here is OK. We're just going to put it in Wolfram exactly like that. And things will work out just fine. So this is, this is a compound interest. And so we will have S equals R times 1 plus I to the power of N. And I'm going to use 600,000. equals 10,000 times 1 plus i is r over 1. And again, it's OK to leave that like that. And 13 is our exponent up there. So for our work in Wolfram, everyone, we may need to change that lowercase r to an x. I'm not totally sure. I think I need to go grab my formula, though. And we have the future value. The future value is 600 grand. The initial investment was $10,000. I is R over 1. And N is, I guess you could put an R as well. That would be the same thing. But I'll leave it like that, just for clarity purposes. And then we end up with something that looks like this. This looks a little bit psychotic. I think it's because Wolfram doesn't like that lowercase r. So let's replace that lowercase r with an x. And I'm still getting something goofy. But I'm going to say approximate form because that looks nasty. And it looks like we've got 0 0.37. So lowercase r is our interest rate. And so point or 0 0.37019 is what this ends up being. And that is equivalent to 37.019% interest. That is ridiculously great, incredible growth, everyone. And so we can say that, what was this question asking us again? Uh, the interest rate for this investment was 37.019%. That's crazy. Super huge interest rate on this investment, everyone. Someone got really, really rich uh, on Microsoft. Well, actually, a lot of people did. So if someone was smart enough to invest in Microsoft when it first came out, or lucky enough for that matter, uh, they're probably millionaires or billionaires by now for sure.